What's up, guys? Man Cave here again. Uh, we got another video for you. Um, what you're staring at is a uh, bench grinder that probably could have served in Vietnam. But most importantly, what you're seeing here is a wire wheel. On the other side, I've got my grinding wheel. But I always make sure one end I have a uh, wire wheel. And uh, in my last video, I had somebody ask me how I deanodized rings. Now this right here is just a uh, standard set of axial 2-2 uh, bead lock rings. And there's a couple different ways that you can deanodize them. You can do the uh, Drano trick where you suck them in Drano and it'll eat the parts off, but that gets a little messy and dangerous because chemicals are involved. Um, this also is dangerous too, so I do not suggest that uh, younger or inexperienced people with the power of a bench grinder try this, but number one, you need to have a good pair of leather gloves. Because if you can't tell by the uh, thumb here on this one and the fingers on these, the brushes act as like a scrubber. And if they'll do this to a pair of rubber gloves, just imagine what they'll do to your finger, especially if they'll take the rings off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to prop this up here and I'm going to de-anodize a full set of rings for you. So, safety first as always. Put our gloves on and then... We'll get to uh, deanodizing. As you can see, there's still a the little bit of green, but in comparison to another ring, this is what we started with, and this is what we have now. So, since I've got one done already and I did do both sides, you saw how quick and easy that was. You can easily get a full set, all eight rings done within a matter of minutes versus having to wait half an hour for uh, anodizing. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some, uh, the rest of these rings, get them done, and uh, you guys can see the end result.
There you go. So you guys can see that did not take long at all. And that was all eight rings, inside and out. Now, a little worn, uh, word of advice. After you do that, let them sit for a few minutes, because they are hot coming off of that grinder. But, as you can see, now we've got bright, shiny, de-anodized, even though you can still see I left it on the edges. You'll never see it because of the tire. If you really wanted to, you could just take the grinder and you just work the wheel around in a circle and it'll get that anodizing off too, but that's how I found the cheap, easy way to de-anodize rings. Later, guys.